let's do a painting. <laughs> Everyone that's joining, how you doing? Let's uh, get some liquid clear on to begin with. So this uh, liquid clear is just to help me blend out the paints when I put them on. Don't need too much of this. How is everybody? Where's everyone watching from? How far are we going out? TLM's just joined. Hello, TLM. Everyone else that's joined? Uh, Sky Haynes, how you doing? Nice to have you here. How you doing? Where are you watching from? What's the liquid you're using and why? Okay, so it's liquid clear. Um, it looks a bit like sort of runny honey. I don't know if you can see it. It's liquid, it's, see it's quite runny. And that lets me blend out. When I put the paints on top, it helps me blend the paints together on the actual board. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I'm, gonna, I'm, a, I'm attempting sort of a, on the ground, but like a Milky Way, sort of in the background. I don't know how it's going to turn out. It's a bit of an experiment, but we shall find out. I'm not going to go right down to the bottom of the board because I know I'm going to have, hopefully, some trees there if it turns out okay. Oh, down in Brighton, nice one. So I've got some, I'll show you the paints in a second. I'm going to use probably about three or four different colours. So just make sure that this is all covered. So I need it to. Right, okay. So I shall show you the paints. I think it basically is. I mean, it doesn't say, but you can use linseed oil. I think. I think it is, but contains alkyd. What's that say? Alkyd resin and safflower oil. So yeah, that's what it is. I've never read that before. But linseed oil I've used before. No, I mean oils, acrylics, or what colour? Oh, we're going to do oil paints. Yeah, oil paints. And we shall be using... Now I've got... I want... Okay, so... Yeah, oil paints. Really thick oil paints. That will stand up to about an inch if I keep going, but I don't need that much. So I've got some... Some yellow ochre. Let's just put some. Uh, Scorn, how you doing? Love the smell of the linseed oil. Yeah, there's a lot of smells that I like with paint that I shouldn't really. As long as the solvent ones. <laughs> some paints really do smell nice. I love the smell of spray cans as well. I know it's bad for you, but I do like the smell of spray cans. <laughs> Blast from the past, how you doing? Uh, Sky Haynes, I work with watercolours a bit here and there. Oh, nice. Do you post any videos? Uh, user, user 8, uh, the number, what my paints tonight? I'm going to attempt like a bit of a sort of Milky Way or Nebula. It could be one of them too with some trees. I'm going to throw some paint on and see what happens. It could go terribly wrong. Hopefully it won't, but... So I'm just going to put... I've got the colours in mind. So I'm going to put a bit down here. Let's just, I don't want to put too much paint on and I don't want to put too little paint on. Let's have a bit sort of, I don't know, up here. So it's going to be a mixture of colours and then, and then blend it, hopefully. Somewhere around there. Um, I get stressed, I paint. Oh, absolutely. No, just private paintings from home. Oh, I see, cool. Uh, glad to hear you're okay, Blast from the Past. Gonna watch you 
smoke a few J's. Ha ha ha. <laughs> no, I don't touch that. <laughs> did, 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 did. Right, okay, let's put some other colour on. Let's go with some. Let's get some. I don't know if it's go with red or crimson red. Let's just see how bright. I think that's too bright. I'm going to try a bit of crimson. If I can find it. Bear with me. I think that that's it there. Yeah, this is like a sort of burgundy sort of red. Don't know what. <laughs> no. Okay. So that's quite a dark red. We'll just see how that comes out. I might even mix a little bit. I'm going to mix a little bit of bright red in with that, I think. Just because I feel like it. So where's everyone watching from? We've got Brighton. Anywhere else? All right, let's put some colour on. Okay, let's... Hopefully you can see them colours. Can you see them colours down there? Yeah, just about... So I'm just going to put some of the, just adding both of them together just to brighten it up. I'm going to put some red here. I can't wait to blend it all together. That's the bit that I find exciting. I'm going to have a bit here. I'm going to be going up there. Don't need too much paint. Okay, let's make this come through there. So this is all sort of preparation. Okay, let's have a look here. Cool, loads of you now answering. Newcastle, Cheshire, Emmons in Cheshire. Cole is in Manchester. Robbins in Scotland. Bournemouth, oh, I like Bournemouth. Blast from the past, Alabama. Oh wow, USA, nice to have you here. Uh, Caitlin, Aberdeen, Scotland. Phil Smith in London, bro. And um, Mike in Bristol. Nice to have you all here. Do tap the screen if you can, guys. Let's see if we can get up to, jump up to 5K. You can share the live down the bottom if you know he's, anyone who's interested in art. Right, now what colour now? Let's go with some green. Now I've got some real, I think this is emerald green. Just see how this looks. I might darken it up a bit. So I've got some emerald green there. I've done a galaxy a long time ago. I've only ever done one painting like this and I fancy giving it another go, but just doing something a bit different, you know? Sap green's quite dark, which is there. Let's just put that over there. Hopefully you can, can you see? It's a bit better, isn't it? Um, good old East London. Oh, nice one, Chris. Get some blue on there. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the whole round. There's gonna be green and then blue. That's the idea. Okay, just gonna leave that brush there for a moment. Just find a brush that I can use. I'll just use this one. Just gonna mix some of these together. I don't want it too dark. It's quite a nice green actually, as it is. Just a little bit of dark. I've got something in there, like a paint bogey. Whatever that is, off the top of the paint, off the top of the lid. Oh, there it is, trying to get it off. There we go. Right, paint bogey, that's a new one, isn't it? <laughs> I watched you do a really nice lamb seat with a creek, grass, and trees last week. Oh, nice to have you back. Nice to have you back. Right, let's put some green on then. So, I'm trying to show you guys. I've only got a little brush to put this on, but. So I'm just making some color on there. Now, gotta be careful when I blend these colors because I'll end up with all sorts of different colors that I don't want, so. It'll be interesting once I blend all this out. It could go terribly wrong. It could go terribly right. Who knows? We shall find out. 
That emerald green looks nice though. Okay, I'm gonna leave a bit there for blue. So all we gotta do is put blue on after. Then see what happens. Oh, I can see where I've been, hopefully you can. Okay, so now some blue. Ultramarine blue would have been nice, but I've got some Prussian blue or phthalo blue. I think I use phthalo blue. It's quite nice. It's almost a bit like ultramarine. Okay, let's keep my brush there. Do, 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 do. Find another little brush to put this on with. Uh, give me one second. Yeah, I'll just use this big one. Okay, let's put the blue one in. Probably need some more blue than this, but it's quite a nice blue. Come down here. God, look at that blue. That really is vibrant. Look at that. I think I want it a little bit darker to be fair. Um, what I'll do is I'll carry on with this blue and just put a little bit dark on top of that. Just want it a little bit darker than that. But it's okay. If you're new here, then uh, do check out my other videos. Um, I upload all my live streams to my YouTube channel. So you can watch all my live streams back and you can zoom in, which is great on YouTube. You can sort of pinch and zoom, see what I've done, which is quite helpful. And the link is underneath my profile picture on TikTok. Go and check out that link. You'll see all my paintings for sale and stuff like that. Yeah, that's a bit better, that was off center. That is very bright. I'm gonna darken it down a little bit. I didn't think it was gonna be that bright, but I'm gonna darken it down a bit now. Hopefully. I could have mixed a bit of black in, but I was lazy. <laughs> so I've just got some Prussian blue here. And this will make it a bit darker. It's nice to mix your colours anyway, so you don't always end up with the same sort of colour. Should give all the interesting, interesting flavours, flavours of paint. Now this is really an experiment because I done the Galaxy quite a long time ago. I think it's one of my top videos on TikTok. I just wanted to give something a go. Alright, I've got to be careful here. Alright, where's my blending brush? I've got a small one, I might start with that. Cool, yeah. And, and that's it guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> that is my painting. <laughs> Now I've got to be careful here. I'm going to blend out the yellow first, I think. Try and blend out the yellow first. I could do a small blending brush. You need something sort of soft. Might, okay, I might have to wash the brush halfway through. Oh, I really want to use this one. Uh, it looks like it could be Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Hi Lily, how you doing? Right, okay, let's just do a bit of blending and see what happens. Let's just keep going until I feel like it's good enough. I don't want to lose all the yellow. The yellow will die down quite a bit, obviously, because I'm going for other colours. So I'm just going to blend as much as possible. Just keep blending and blending. This is going to take some time, but 
Oh, I'm glad you're good. Glad you're good, Lily. Okay, I'm gonna keep going with this green, uh, yellow. I'm gonna blend it all, all sorts of ways. Takes a bit of time, but it's worth it, I think. Let's bring that right up there. Don't wanna to lose too much yellow. Got to be careful of touching the red and then bringing it back into the yellow. It doesn't matter, but because I do want blends of it. But so literally, this brush I'm using is really, really, really soft, and it's quite dry. I'm touching that. I'm keeping a dry brush. Very good art. Thank you. There you. It's not bad. You got lots. Some forest. It sounds nice. So we're doing a big blended, I don't know, I would be a Milky Way or a Galaxy, uh, not Galaxy, a Milky Way or, you wait until I add all the white. This is when it, this is when it would get really interesting. That's when I add the white. And then it'll all mix the colors. It won't look anything like this once I've done. But I just want to blend some colors while it's there. I'm going into the blue and green here. Blue and green always make a good colour together. So that just fades in. I can't wait to add the white actually, see what it looks like. Well, cool, I'm ex excited to see the results. Hey, Pixie Rose, how are you doing? Nice to have you back. one of the most satisfying things is blending and when it all comes out okay look see that's going darker now that's okay I don't want to I want to leave some of that yellow all right dry the brush off again okay I don't know how far to bring this yellow up maybe just a bit more just look it that's it like I said, this yellow will disappear as it is, but come back when the white's added. And also I'm trying to get the paint about, you know, get it about so it's all not in one place. It's so satisfying. Brought a little bit of that red down there, that's fine. Right, okay. I think I'll start adding some white in a minute. And it should we should be able to have a little bit of fun with that. There we go. So basically this is all the prep work. All right, just give me a couple of seconds, guys. I'm gonna to have to go and wash this brush out because I need it again. Okay, so I'm gonna use the fan brush and I'm gonna get some titanium white. Let's just have a little tidy up. So I've got some titanium. 25 seconds, Chris. Uh, oh, 26 seconds. <laughs> yeah, we're at 6.7, 6.8 thousand likes, my highest peeps is 37,000 so maybe or maybe not who knows so yeah this is the the make that I'm using I get it from Amazon it's a real thick nice pack nice paint and the big tubes are 10 pound each uh, thanks for everyone that's followed thank you for everyone that's liking the live much appreciated uh, Chris, I was making it up. I thought you sat there with a watch. <laughs> it sounds about right, though. Yeah, thanks for followers. You can subscribe to me, guys, up here um, somewhere. You get a little gift pack or something, um, like, I don't know, emojis or something. That helps me out. Um, any gifts that's been sent, I've missed, and thank you. Right, let's get a little brush. We're going to start adding some white on. 
when I say little, I think I might use the fan brush. Okay, I might have to thin this down a little bit, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try with just the normal white. It's very thick paint, which might be okay for this. See how thick that is? Proper loaded up the brush. Proper loaded. Okay, let's have some fun. Okay, I'm gonna do it like this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's start somewhere down here. I just want to lightly touch it and put some swells on. I'll be doing this a couple of times as well. And obviously the paint's wet, so every time I get the brush off, it's changing colour, it's picking the colours up on there. So I'm going to start down here and keep going. Keeping the brush moving so it's not in one sort of place. Let's go. Oh, look at the colours there, look. Amazing. Beautiful colours. Uh, let's have a look at some of the comments. Your average DTA, sorry I'm late. I'm so sorry I was doing something. Oh, that's right, no need to apologise. Nice to have you back here though. When I open Prussian Blue, it seems to hop onto my hands, face and elbows. I know what you mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah, it seems to, well, before, I have got some on the floor here, trodden it in my sock and took it indoors, you know, oil paint. Oh, I'm just putting some little swells. Just wherever you feel. Doesn't it, it looks strange, doesn't it? But it looks cool at the same time. Okay, so I'm gonna blend that out and then probably add some more. So let's see what this does. Still make sure my brush is. Uh, how do you prepare your canvas before painting? Do you have a liquid layer? Yes, I put a liquid clear on, Jamie. Um, and if you missed the beginning of this, and if you're watching back on YouTube right now, all these are uploaded to YouTube, obviously. And you can go back, watch from the start. This one will probably be uploaded tomorrow. And there's many on there that you might find interesting. And do go and check out the link underneath my profile picture on TikTok. And you'll see my YouTube there and all sorts of stuff. Where I get my paints from, my Instagram. 10.1K likes, thank you so much. Uh, St Stephanie, I'll keep hitting the likes. I also love the noise you're making. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks everyone. If I've missed any comments, then uh, oh, thank you so much for the gift as well. I appreciate gifts so much. Gifts go straight towards um, canvases, which I'm low on. Paints, you know. Right, let's think. Could do this like Northern Lights and bring it up. I might go left to right, but let's let's have a little go and watch these colours change. This is how I do the Northern Lights as well. Look at them beautiful colours. It's like magic. If this isn't relaxing, I don't know what is. Which now leads me to believe that I must do a galaxy soon. I think galaxy with maybe half a Pluto round or something. Look at that. Look at them colours. Wow, we're at 11.9k likes. Are we going to be 37,000 tonight? Come on, guys. <laughs> uh, Pixie Rose, loving that. Thank you. Lisa, what's tonight's sign? It's 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 sort of a Milky Way eb, uh, nebula idea. So it's going to be more blended. That does look like Northern Lights in a minute, but I'm blending both ways tonight, so it won't be quite like that. That's amazing. Thank you. Well, where do you sell your artwork? I'll buy a galaxy in a heartbeat. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, 
do check out the link underneath my profile picture on TikTok. There's one link there, and that'll open up to wonderful places, all different kinds of stuff. So go and check that out. This one will be on sale probably in a couple of weeks if anyone wants to. Um, um, what's the word? Reserve. Then let me know. You can email me as well. So you can contact me, email me. I haven't finished yet though, guys. So, you know, it could be a disaster yet. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I'll try and answer all your comments. Anyone that's followed, thank you. I can't see and read all the time because I'm painting, but anyone that's sent gifts, follows, everyone tapping the screen and everyone being here, I really appreciate it. This is such a cool process. It's one of the most relaxing things you can do. Yeah, isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? Like I say, not finished yet. I think some people would just like it like that, you know? But I'm gonna add another layer on yet, so. Uh, Anna, Anna Bell Stokes, you've been on my FYP a few times and each time it's been incredible to watch. That's really kind, thank you so much. This is given giant's cause where almost an upside down magical. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go this way now, guys. I know it's gonna look different. I'm going to lightly go this way and then up again. We're just am amazing what you can do. And the wet on wet technique is such an incredible, satisfying technique. This, this is how I do water as well. So you can imagine, you know, doing a painting like this with water as well. It almost looks watery now. Well, I'm going to go up again. I'm going to go down actually this time. And then I'm going to go up again. Yeah, up seems to be a little bit better. And I'm going to move this out of the way. Be brave and hopefully it doesn't go on the floor. <laughs> So yeah, that by going sideways, I'm just literally spreading the color out a little bit more. I'm gonna add some more white in a moment. I think I'll keep them like as a background color though. Well, I've got a little hair there, which is quite annoying on this kind of painting. Use the edge of your brush and get it off. I don't know what that is, it looks like a little ant, but it's not, there's another one there. Best way to do it is get use your brush to get it off, otherwise it'll be ruining your painting. Finger part, fingerprints all over it. There's a little one there, got it. Okay, just gonna keep blending. your girl Lily. Bye. Oh, take care. See you later. All right, I'm just going to dry my brush off again. And I'm going to try and add some more white. I'm going to use a fresh bit of white because the one I've got is quite blue, as you can see right down the bottom of the screen. Love those blender colours, Lisa says. Just looked at your work, I smell a Bob Ross fan. Absolutely, he's a legend. And Bill Alexander. Yeah, the guy, the guy behind the wet and wet. The wet and wet style. Right. Right, I'm just going into this white. Again, you see how blue that's gone? That is literally because I was touching it and coming back in, but it doesn't matter, it's very really light. I've got some fresh white. I'm just tapping it on the end. And trying to make it a bit chiselled, a nice chiselled edge, and that will make a bit more finer detail, hopefully. Uh, Stephanie Piggott, what's your inspiration, if any? I started watching Bob Ross about a couple of years ago, 
and I was hooked and just give it a go. I just gave it a go. And again, I'm doing this. I'm hoping for some brighter white to come up the top as well, which is I just tap some on this bit. I want some kind of wispy bits going up. Oh yeah, I've got thick old paint here. Let's just try tapping this bit on. I haven't seen this done though. This done though before. Like, like with Bob Ross, I, I think he's got like 30, I think it's 35 series and I'm on series eight. And I think there's 13 episodes in each one. So, I've got lots more to watch and I enjoy them. And I often find myself falling asleep, not because it's boring by any, any means, but it's so relaxing. It's a good, a good, good way to unwind. Right, okay. Um, I'm back, something went wrong. Oh dear, I'm glad you're back, Blast from the Past. Look at this. Just putting any sort of random things on that you think might look good once blended. Okay, let's do a bit more blending. Da -da 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 -da. I used to fall asleep, uh, Hannah, I used to fall asleep Bob Watts on Netflix. He's such a, yes, he has. He's got one of them voices, isn't he? <laughs> Just gonna blend some of that out a little bit. I'm gonna have some trees down here anyway, so that's the idea. Right, okay, let's do some more. Blend, blend. So I might end up, I want some brighter white here to show for, I'll do a light blend and I'm going to add some white as I go. After each blend, the idea I think is to add a little touch of white in these white streaks. So I want it quite white in the middle. The colours are amazing, I must admit though. They really do look good. Very similar to the Northern Lights. I, I think I'll do a green Northern Lights as well sometime. If you haven't seen some of my videos on um, TikTok or YouTube, then have a browse through. Come and join me on YouTube. I'm trying to get that set up. And like I said, you can watch all my live streams back from the start. And the good thing about YouTube Actually, it's fantastic. You can zoom in while you're watching. So if I'm painting a little bit down here, you can pinch your device and you can zoom in and watch, which is actually really good and helpful if you want to learn or just see how I did it, you know? Right, I'm going to do another layer of white in a minute. Just a little bit more blending in places. Just another layer of white. I'm trying to get it as thin as possible so I can add the, the more layers. Because obviously I'm putting wet paint on wet paint. So, um, let's have a look. No, he's not Hannah, unfortunately. We've got 20,000 likes. Wow. Uh, 21, come on, we might be 37,000 likes tonight. Um, yeah, Bob Ross, um, yeah, I think it was 1986. No, no, maybe a bit later than that. I think that's when, I don't know, have a look. But yeah, I watched, there's a documentary on Netflix. Have a, have a watch of that, it's so sad. And especially his, um, 
you know, all the proceeds for his stuff don't go to his family, which I think is bang out of order. But there you go. Um, Anna, Lauren, I'm learning some new techniques. Awesome. Jamie, yes. Jamie, where are you watching from? You might have told me already. Right, let's add some more. Again, if I've missed any follows, um, gifts, then thank you very much. Last night I ended the live and someone gifted me quite nicely and I didn't see it at all, but I sent a, a nice message after. I appreciate it, guys. Um, right, I'm gonna, I might get another little brush for this one and just sort of dab some on where I want these sort of whiter bits. Just some brighter white. And obviously it turns blue as soon as it goes on there. Putting quite a lot of paint on there now. I blend these out again. Just want it like a little brighter. Um, this gave me an idea actually. You know the film Avatar? There's a tree called um, the Pandora tree. I might give that a go. That looks like the Northern Lights hanging upside down. That would be interesting, but it's got, again, a blue, a green, dark background where the tree is. So it might be a little bit difficult, but we shall see. I'll give it a go, it might not always turn out good. <laughs> Are you in Glasgow? All the way up there, my mate's not too far. Uh, Duncan Lung. Oh, I like this. Thanks, Duncan. The Tree of Iwa. Is it Iwa? I think I pronounced it right. Yeah, the Tree of Life. That's it. I was looking at images last night and I had the idea to do this today and I thought, oh, that has given me an idea. I think I might attempt it, you know, sometime. Right, okay, so I'm going to lightly do this. After I've done this, you know, finish with this bit, there's not much to do really. I've got to add the trees down the bottom, but it won't take that long. So. I want to leave some hints of white in there. That's the idea. I keep drying my brush as well. Oh, I picked up a bit of blue there, but you can blend it out. That's it, whispery bit, wispy bits. Wispy, wispy bits. I don't know why I make that swishing noise. It does help me paint. And I'd imagine it annoys some people. But I'm sorry. I try to stop it. But I can't. I don't do it any other time apart from when I paint. There you go, there's another one. <laughs> it's, I don't know what it is, I don't know why I do it. I, I've, when I'm editing my videos for um, TikTok and YouTube, I'm just like, listen to how many times I go, shh. My niece watched um, a video of mine the other day and she goes, why do you keep making that noise? So I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, Duncan Lung, I love the gay lights. Oh, nice. <laughs> this one's for you, Duncan. Do you have a city skyline or a building at the bottom of the canvas? I'm gonna do some um, trees. That's what I'm gonna do. Just some silhouettes of some trees. Right, I'm gonna do some long, long ones now. You see how all that color has been building up? And yeah, it's brighter over here now. 
I want it a bit brighter this side. But yeah, the first one I did like this obviously was the Northern Lights and um, I can probably put some stars on here as well. I might flick some stars on in a minute, like around this blue. Right, hang on. It's, it's really hard keeping the white because obviously, like I say, you touch, you touch the white onto the, the wet and it changes color. So having a little thick of white in places, that's how you really see the white. Well, just keep going until you're happy really on this one. I think I'm nearly happy with it. Just trying to get that top bit up there because that's where the um, little holder's in the way. That's it, okay. The the yellow is actually, it doesn't look too yellowy now, but the yellow's actually really held well considering I've got blue on there and all these other colors. It's actually held really well. Uh, Pixie Road liquid white, Carl. Oh, I think it'll be too runny. I think it'll be too runny. I'm not 100% sure. Because it's so wet on there, I'm worried about it being, if I touch the liquid white with this, I'm pretty sure it'll smooth out too much. But maybe I'm gonna try it next time. I don't feel confident at the moment. Uh, mixed with thick white, yeah. Do you know, I nearly done that. I nearly did do that. Do you know what, I'm gonna have a play around with that pixie. Um, probably off of this one. I I'll tell you what, let's try a little bit. Let's just try a little bit. If worse comes to worse, I can blend it out, right? So I've got some, this is called Magic White Liquid White. So it's basically white thinned down, basically with like linseed oil or that other oil that they use. I'll try and just see if it holds. I'm worried about blending, that's what I'm worried about. So. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, it definitely does work. I mixed them two together for um, some of the paintings that I've done. It definitely does pixie, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's 25,000 likes. Guys, you guys are amazing. Who's been pressing the screen that much? Who's got blisters? Right, well, I've got some uh, magic white on the end of my thing. I'm gonna get some titanium white and do a little mix. Tiny, I'm just trying it out just to see how how bright that stays. Yeah, like I said, it's very runny. I can see it. I'm gonna try a little bit, okay? I might just try a bit down here because I know I'm gonna have trees. So, okay, so that's the liquid white, okay? Um, I mix with a little bit of titanium white and I've got the blending brush here. This, it works, it works. Let's try, let's try. Let's just try. Uh, I don't want to do too much. I'm going to try little bits here. I was a bit scared that it was too runny. I've put quite a bit there. Yeah, it does pull up quite a long way. Um, I think a small amount in places would look good. I'm just gonna add a few more in places because that will give it a little bit of a brighter. I'm gonna start at the bottom where I want it. So if I start there, little, little dabs. Little dabs of it. And hopefully we might be all right here. Okay, let's just try and blend that out. Hmm, still blending in, but 
because it's quite thinner than the others, but yeah. And it go it spreads further. I think overall I prefer it, prefer it a bit thicker. But it, it I think it works if you're delicate. Do you know what I mean? All right, let's read the comments. I've been um uh, go back on the uh, go back on this right. Uh, average GTA. Ah, oh, that's okay. Nice to have you back. Pixie Rose. Yay. Um, Emma Stone Art. Wow. Thank you. Nice to have you back, Emma. Is that what you wanted it to look like? Sort of. I mean, I don't think there's that much different. I've got the look I wanted. I wanted a brighter side. This side. You got quite a bit of sheen on the camera there as well, but yeah, it's it. I think it's too runny. It it spreads a lot further, but it you know there's nothing wrong with using it. But I think I preferred it a little bit thicker. But it does work, definitely works. Because there's so much paint on there, I'm feeling that you know because you've got the liquid clear on there, then you've got blue and all the colours, and then two layers of white, and then blended. So I think you can make it too, sort of too wet, if you know what I mean. Right. But it's, it's kind of cool, isn't it? it? It does work. I think I'm gonna play around with it, to be honest, but thank, thanks for the, um, definitely the suggestion of that. Seems to get, get a bit more dense, it stands out a little bit more. The white, yeah? It's difficult when you use a certain medium, yeah. In this case, yeah, I'm definitely going to keep playing around with that. Definitely. But no, I really appreciate um, you saying that because it's worth trying it out. Really appreciate that. Uh, thank you for the gifts. If I think someone sent some gifts. Thank you. Appreciate that. I've got a gift goal up the top somewhere. If anyone wants to help. And you can subscribe. Okay. So, I think I just want to blend this a little bit out, a little bit more. And then we're going to move on and do some trees, I think. But yeah, isn't that cool? I really like it. And again, from this, I think more blending is required. Looking at it. Shall I flick some stars on? Let's make some stars. I'll do that before I put the trees on because I don't want stars all over my trees. <laughs> I'm gonna try and flick some stars on, I think. I'm gonna go into the, do you know what? I'm gonna make them slightly blue. I'm gonna go into some liquid white. And I'm gonna add a little bit of thinner to this. Oh, my two inch, my two inch blend, uh, blend, uh, blending brush has gone all fluffy, so I'm using my little, my little one. So I'm just gonna add a drop of, be brave and add a drop of thinner to this. Sorry, you can't see, but I kind of need all my hands. Well, I'm going to test this first because I don't know how runny it is. Um, where's my knife? There. 29,000 lights. Guys, you guys are amazing. Yeah, I need, an, I need a new fluffing brush, really, to be honest. I don't know how thin this is. Just gonna try a little corner. I'm gonna try it down here first. Yeah, that's okay. I don't know if you can see this, but there is stars going on here. I don't want to get more iPad covered where I'm reading your comments. I'm gonna move it for a minute. So I'm just flicking some random 
stars. Maybe a bit much there. It's hard to get stars the right size you want sometimes. That's quite nice. Might be a few bigger stars than what I wanted, but doesn't matter, stars can be close, can't they? <laughs> okay. 30.2, are you? Oh my word, well, I think we might beat 37 tonight. That's amazing. Right, let's put some trees in. Let's go for it. I'm just gonna add some black with the little bit of green that I've got on the board. I'm leaving everything open. I've got to learn to put lids on. I've got to learn to put lids on. So if some of them stars are too big or whatever, you can touch them up. Um, black, I'm looking for black. Over there, okay. 30.5 thousand 30 likes. That's insane. That's mad. People like art, I guess. Um, I'm looking for, oh yeah, I'm gonna get another fan brush to put one down here. So yeah, yeah I, the trees I'm probably gonna have sort of up to around that area. Some probably some high ones, some low ones. So I've got um, this black and some green. Let's put that down there, let's put that there. We've got some black and what was left of the green on the board. So I'm just mixing that together. Got a nice big uh, Bob Ross fan brush here. And those are paint. Okay. 31. Uh, oh, thank you so much, Average GTA. Are you tapping the screen like mad? <laughs> Okay, let's think where we want some trees. Let's have, let's just have one here. May, so I'm gonna go probably up and down here. Maybe just, I might go s slightly down into the distance. I don't know. Just put a tree in here. So I've got a top of a tree there. See, I didn't bother doing the bottom of the canvas with the liquid clear down here because there's absolutely no point. See if we can get that little bit of thing off there. Yeah, let's just have one. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let's put some, let's put some, before I do these trees, I'm just got a little bit of paint there and I'm gonna do before I do that let's clamp this down let's clamp it down um, let's have a look at this trying to keep up with the comments Lisa 31.5 thousand oh your average GCA thank you so much you're so kind uh, user 837 gosh uh, that's awesome thank you so much pixie road I'd love this thank you so much I bought the Jamie says, I bought the Bob Ross Master paint set last year. It's my first proper paint purchase. Oh, nice one. Nice one. I haven't used it there, though because it's too pretty in the box. <laughs> They're quite expensive as well, aren't they? But they are, you know, good quality. So I'm just putting some... You, you know what these are. We're putting some different distant... You know, before I put the trees in, you're gonna see most of these will be painted over, but just something for a bit of distance, you know. Little distant trees, tree tops, bare ones. This is actually a really satisfying painting to do. And it's easy. 
Honestly, guys, you can do this if you're watching and think, I can't do that, or we can. And don't forget, you can watch this back on my YouTube channel. And you visit the link underneath my profile picture on TikTok. Thanks to everyone that's following tonight and liking the stream, I really appreciate it. Any gifts that I've missed, thank you. Okay, I think that'll do. Sometimes you can have too much, but that, I think that was a, a good idea to do that before the trees. Well, I'm gonna try and keep up with the comments. I think I am. Case Art had a very good 50% off. Oh, nice one, mate, nice one. All right, let's go, let's just put a corner of one here coming in. And have a little one in the, just cover that up a little bit. Have, have some color showing through. You don't want to do it all sort of, you don't want it all to be black. Show some, assuming so just as a small little tree there. in the background there, yeah, using one of the things we put on. So we'll go there. All trees are different. They've all got friends, they've got lots of friends, these trees. <laughs> As Bob would say, eh? Got to give them a friend. Do you have quite a so a big one somewhere, maybe here. Maybe we've got a sort of big one here. I'm gonna have to put some more paint on the board. See, that's changing colour now, so I'm gonna add a bit of black because it's picking up all the colours on, underneath. And like I said, I've got black and green mixed together here, so I'm just using the rest of the green off the board, but it doesn't really matter too much. Trees come in all different sh shapes and sizes. Uh, let's read this again. Uh, the palette knife makes the most interesting pattern. Yeah, absolutely, the palette knives are great. I couldn't go, go to before, what's that? Oh, Lydia, okay. I just sent 741 likes. Thanks, your average GTA TikToker, much appreciated. This is fun doing trees and it's easy. Once you pick up the knack of the old fan brush, it's easy. Everyone's trees are different. Let's add a bit more green to the black, just, just so I know that there's some green in there, really. I'm only using a bit of sap green. You can't really notice it that much, but it gives hints. And you can always go after, over it after, with touches of sap green. Depends on what you want, really. You do what you like. Bob used happy trees. Yeah, all mine are happy little trees. Alexa Freeberg. Oh, nice to have you here. So beautiful. Thank you so much. Let's have another little one in the background there. It's tiny. Just showing through. We can add some more if we like anywhere else. You can put some little tops on these trees. See a few little sticks, we can add some more afterwards. Just showing through, maybe we can go a little bit higher on some of these. Somewhere up there. We can add ones in here and there. Do a little, do a 
distant ones in the background. Some of them aren't very well, some of them died. Okay, let's have a bit of a higher one here. And you've got real texture going on on this paint down here. When that dries, you'll see a little bit of texture. It'd be interesting to do this painting actually, and maybe have the trees higher, with the bottom of the trees there, then the lake, uh, you know, a big lake with the reflections of this in. So maybe I'll do that next time. Quite like the way you just see a few little tree stops through there. Um, let's have a look. Uh, Blast from the past, love it, thank you so much. GTA TikTok and my fingers hurt so much. Oh, be careful, 34,000 likes. <laughs> we might beat 37, guys. I oh, appreciate you tapping the screen, I really appreciate it. See, once you come down this bit, it's just all black, because it's like a sil silhouette, so you don't really... Let's just keep that there. Maybe another little one poking through there. You can just see bits of it. Yeah, overall, I think it's turned out quite a nice painting. It's really nice to, um, really nice to do the blending of colors and it's always good to see Always good to see. It's an interesting, I think the blend of colors is quite an interesting watch. Let's have him coming up there, look. It's a high one. Completed painting, guys. Just a little one there, and then we can put some tops on these. Um, blast and pass, amazing colours so vibrant. Yeah, have you ever seen the Northern Lights? But you might imagine that's how that. I have never seen with my own eyes, but do check out my other videos on um, TikTok. And YouTube and quite a lot of northern lights. I can show you a few after the after I finish this one. Right, so you can just go in and put some a little bit of paint, you can put some tops on these trees. Like this bit here. Just scratching the tops of these trees. You don't have to do this, but I like to. Well, I don't do it in every painting. Just like a little, so you can see the branch sort of coming, the tree trunk coming sort of through. I was doing a video the other day, and I was calling the um, the trunks um, twigs, and my stepdad pointed that out to me today. He goes, "You call?" He said it made me laugh. He's calling the trunks twigs. looks insane I basically speak to it. that's how that's how stunning that is I like I'm trying to think oh thank you so much thank you GTA TikTok I'm much appreciated uh, let's put some little ones in there at the back I think that just helps a little bit use your imagination Look, there's trees and stuff in the background. I'm going to have a little swig of my drink. Yeah, much appreciated. Thank you, guys. 
Okay, where's my, uh, I think. Let me just stand back and have a little look. <clears throat> yeah, from far away, I quite like it. It looks even better far away. You're about a foot away from the painting at the moment. So, yeah, about a foot away at the moment. But as you go back, the colours, that, yeah, I quite like it. Yeah, I quite like it. <clears throat> 35.4. Okay, we might beat my record before I go off. Right, so I'm going to sign this one off. There's maybe a few little ones there. This one. Just a little whisper. So you've got some of the colour behind poking through there. And that really does help. Uh, and that, Lauren, thank you. Just amazing. Thank you so much. Right. I'm trying to find a certain brush. when you're trying to find a brush and you can't find it. Now where would that be? 37.2, my job here is done. <laughs> Jamie, thank you so much. Appreciate it, mate. Appreciate it. Um, I'm looking for a brush. I'm looking for a brush. One second, boy. Found it outside where I clean my brushes. Okay, so I'm gonna try and attempt to put a signature on this, and I'm gonna use a bit of um, paint thinners and some red. You obviously want it quite watery. Can you see that? Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully that'll be okay. <laughs> and it's gonna go down here. And it's obviously red, black going on to red, so uh, red going on to black. So I'm just gonna tap it, tap it on. It is working, but I don't think it will work very well with without the thinners. Slowly, slowly. There we go, just my initials on there now. Yes. So no, we're at 37, we've matched it. We have matched the original highest ever likes that I've had. There's still 20 of you, 23 of you, of you here. Thanks for watching. Who's been here from the start? Lisa, thanks very much. Thank you very much. Now. Yeah. I'm just going to try something, this might not work, I might leave it to dry, but I might just try and attempt to just soak off a couple of them big ones there. There's just a couple of big, two bigger stars really, but I can let it dry off again and then just sort of, you know. But I'm just trying, I don't know if it's possible. Well, it is possible actually, I'm doing it. But just to... Soak them off a little bit. And then I can blend that little bit out again. Because them little stars there, just, just two little stars that were just annoying me. Um, 
Uh, Emma, thank you so much. It's stunning, thank you so much. Lisa, thank you so much. Well, well, thank you for all the likes, guys. This is amazing. I started when everything was solid Prussian blue. Nice, thanks for staying, I appreciate it. Get him to 40k, we can do it. <laughs> you probably can, guys. So I can just keep blending this bit. I've got a bit of a big brush, but... I'm trying to be brave here and just... There's just a couple of stars that I thought were just too big. So, that's annoying. It's just gonna have to keep being blended there. You won't know. Just keep going. Yeah, that's, took, that's taken out the, uh, them two big stars. They've gone. I think that looks better without them two big ones there. They were just a slightly, slightly too big. Literally using a hair to do this. <laughs> or two. Might be lying, it might be three or four. 38 point, <laughs> oh we're okay, we're at 40.2K. Thanks, thanks everyone, it's amazing. I really appreciate that. Okay, so I always, end up using more brushes than what I plan to, but that's another nice clean out tomorrow. Um, we got a little, not too much paint left on the, um, on the palette. Compared to last, last night's one. Well done everyone, 40K, appreciate it. New world record for Mr. Visual Fusions over here. Right, I'll show you. Uh, Caitlin Douglas, nice to have you here, and thank you. That's stunning, says Caitlin. Right, let's take you off the stand and give you a bit of a look from a bit further away, shall we? Um, right. Right, whoever's in the comments now is going on YouTube. This will be in the YouTube video. We've got some famous people. Look, Mr. Average GTA is famous. Emma Preston's famous. Caitlin Douglas famous. There'll probably be a few more typos now. Typos, types. Hello, YouTube. There you go. <laughs> yeah, guys, you can watch this all back on YouTube and all my previous stuff. And... Um, hopefully, if, any, if anyone gives... Um, there was someone... On the, on one of my videos said that they're gonna give, give my paintings a go. So if you do, please let me know. If you post a video, tag me in it. I'm really, really interested to see, you know. So there we go, guys. You got a bit of glare there from the lights, but I'm trying to take that off a little bit, but. Uh, Emma Preston, incredible work. I'm off to sleep, good night. Take care, thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. So yeah, guys. Look at them colours. There we go. Another painting done. Another one to add up. Beautiful, thank you. It's amazing how the light catches it as well. Let's just see if we can twist some of that round. Oh, look, see, see look at that. What difference that makes, right? Turn the light round, takes off the glisten. There you go, look. Look at that. See the light? Oh, you're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. I have to have the lights on, obviously, but um, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. Don't forget, you can support me by subscribing up here. And I have a little gift goal if anyone feels generous. Um, but most importantly, thanks for being here. And I really appreciate all the likes that people have sent tonight. Because that's a new, ro a new record, 40.4 for me. That's fantastic. Well, I suppose I better... It's time to um, go. And I really appreciate everything that you guys have done with the old tapping on the screen tonight.
blast from the past. Thank you, guy. Thank you. Not too many colours as well, look. Not too many colours. Plenty of room on the board tonight. Right, sleep well, everyone. Sweet dreams. Hope you have a peaceful night. And thanks for being here. And I'll hopefully catch you in my next one. Do take a look through my videos again on TikTok and YouTube. It'd be nice to have you there as well. But yeah, see you next time, guys. Thanks for being here. Legend. And you too. Thanks.